Hi, welcome to my latest video. Well, today I'm going to show you another webcam. Again, full disclosure, this was a webcam that was sent to me for review. It's called Jija, J-I-G-A. That is the manufacturer, I believe. In terms of the model that they use, it simply says stream webcam with ring light. The thing actually comes with a little ring light attached to it. And uh, as I'll show you in a few minutes on how that's used, it can either do full white or sort of a amber-like soft light. And it's supposed to have 24 LEDs in here. It's adjustable in terms of intensity, and I'll show all that in a demonstration in a minute or so. It also says in a box, 2021 upgrade. Again, it's one of those uh, devices that's, you know, made on the other side of the world that uh, is rather inexpensive. I'll go ahead and put up the Amazon ad for it up on the screen here so you can see what it's cost. Pretty reasonable. And I'm going to put it through its paces. I'm going to not only test it individually, but I'll test it against a couple of other webcams. One that's a webcam that I previously reviewed, Nexigo, and also I'll set up my Acaso camera as a webcam and compare it against that. And we'll look at all three of them together on the screen using OBS, like I've done in the past. So we'll see how it does. It does also, well, there's a few features to it. First of all, it does have a swivel. So it swivels right on the holder. The holder can open up quite far and it has a secondary little lip to it that you can use if necessary. So it has a pretty full featured little layout. It seems to fit on top of the computer extremely well. A lot of options to it. It has what looks like probably about a five foot cable to it. It's regular USB 2.0, it's not 3.0. And in addition to that, it comes with a, a tiny little sort of grip tripod, including a, a pocket clip to it. <laughs> so it just screws in like this onto the bottom. It does have a full mount for tripod, so you can just take this and connect it over and you can set this any way you want. And you can put it down on a table or any place you want to put it on in order to uh, set it up for use. Of course, you can adjust it up and down. You can adjust it left to right. So pretty well featured for the price. We'll see how it performs though. So if you get something out of this video that you find useful or like in any way, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would really be helpful. Well, let's go ahead and start the test. I'll start off with the regular Windows 10 camera feature and I'll compare all three cameras using that as well. So let me set them up and then I'll show you a screen capture of that test. Okay, I got them all hooked up and turned on. No sound yet from the cameras. I'm using the sound through my normal Blue Yeti. First one that came on was this new one, the Jiga, J-I-G-A. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I had to lower the amplitude of the brightness. If you look here on the screen here on this side here, that is adjustable. So it originally was sort of washed out like this when I turned it on, but it is something you can adjust down here, at least with the camera app. Hopefully it works with whatever other app you try to use it on. So it looks pretty good. Colors seem reasonable. Let me switch to the next camera. Okay, it looks like the it went to the Acaso at this point. Acaso looks as good as ever. Um, it has a wider angle than the Jiga, which is sort of expected. The Acaso is a wide angle sports camera, but it seems like it looks okay. Colors are good. Let me hit the next one. Now it went to the Nexico. Now the Nexico, it has issues with its autofocus. If you watch it very carefully there, it keeps focusing on my computer in the background, but you can actually, you know, click on this and go into manual focus if you'd like. I find that I'm doing that quite often with this camera when I'm using it now because the autofocus just seems to not lock on the eyes very well, especially when I have my glasses on, my reading glasses. So that's just something to keep in mind. They all are reasonable. Oh, the, look, the Nexico also has brightness adjustment. So in the case of the Nexico, it could use a little more brightness than what it originally connected with. Okay, I think that's a quick and dirty test. Let me go ahead and now and try it with uh, OBS so we can see all three together. 
Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention during the intro, the camera is 1080p, 30 frames per second. It also says it does 2K at 20 frames per second, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to test that or not. But it definitely does 1080p, and it looks 1080p on the, the test that I'm doing right here. So I just wanted to mention that before I forgot. Okay, now I have all three webcams coming in through OBS. The one in the upper left is my Acaso. The one on the lower left is the Nexico. And the new one, the Jika, is in the upper right. So now you get to see all three of them together. They look pretty good. Uh, I think the uh, Acaso definitely wins, but I think the Jika might come in second here. I'll leave it up to you to decide. What I don't have tested is the sound. But before I do that, let me check this light out. I'm going to turn the light on the Jika. Just going to tap it. Okay, so now it's on full intensity white. How's it look? I think it looks pretty good. Let me switch it to amber. I click hit it again. Well, a little bit orangey, but not that much. Turn it off now. And I'm going to show in a minute how to use all the features of that ring light. Just wanted to try it here. Now let me try the sound, but before I try the sound, I better make sure that the only sound that's active is the one from the Giga. So you look at all the sounds, I have them all disabled except for that. Just to remind you, um, this particular one, just like other devices that I've shown on OBS before, you actually have to pick a special option. So you scroll down in here when you're first doing the properties. You have to make sure this little checkbox is checked, use custom audio. Without that, the sound will not show for that device, okay? So with that, let me do a recording and see what it sounds like here. Okay, start recording. Make sure that that's the only sound that I have here. It looks like it, so now I'm probably about a little over two feet away from the Jika. So this is how the sound is picking up at that distance. I'm sure if I get closer, it would sound a little bit better. If I get further away, it might sound more distant. So I'm not sure about that. We'll see what it sounds like. I don't know yet. I have not listened to the mic pick up on this one yet. So I'll find out when I go back and watch this recording. But anyway, that's a test of the sound. Let me stop this recording. Okay. Pretty interesting. We got a comparison of the three and I'll leave it up to you to decide which, which one you like better. Let me now move on to a demonstration of how the ring light is used. To properly use the included ring light, it's pretty simple. Here it is connected to the computer with the light initially off. If I touch this little silver ring, the light comes on full intensity. If I take my finger and I go around the silver ring, slowly, it lowers the intensity until it goes almost off again. If I hit it again, it goes to amber. And the same thing, if I go around the ring, slowly, it lowers the intensity. Then, of course, we can turn it off whenever we don't want to use it. So that concludes this quick review of this Jiga webcam. I think it did extremely well, quite honestly. Of the standard webcams that I've actually reviewed, the ones that weren't cameras being used as webcams, like the Acaso, this is the best that I've reviewed so far, and I think it's the best one that I have right now. I'll probably be using this whenever I'm doing Zoom calls or WebEx calls or anything like that if I need to turn it on. I think having the little light is handy as well. And I think that's a nice little feature. Again, it's pretty easy to deal with that. Well, anyway, hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. And uh, if you did, I would appreciate it if you at least consider subscribing to my channel. And also, if you can, give me a thumbs up. Those help as well. Well, until the next time, thanks for watching and take care, please. Be safe and be healthy.